Today's video is brought to you by CruiseLine.com and Shipmate app. Did you know you can research and book your excursions right in the Shipmate app? Click on Explore, choose your port, and browse excursions by destination. It's super simple to read reviews from real cruisers and book your activities right in the app. Buongiorno, we're in Italy, yes! We're so excited. We are here at Civita di Vecchia, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, also known as the Port of Rome, about a 50 minute drive from Rome, and we're just waiting for check-in. So we are embarking on a seven night journey from Rome. We're going to be visiting several ports in Italy, we're going to Malta, we are going to Spain, and we are going to France, and we are going to be experiencing the MSC Yacht Club for the first time. We're absolutely thrilled about this experience. It's a little bit chilly here in Rome this morning. That's because it is very early. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning. So it's probably about 45 or 50 degrees. So we're waiting for them to debark the passengers that are debarking today. And then pretty soon we'll be getting on that ship. with my colleague. Oh, great, thank you. you. It's one o'clock and we're on our beautiful balcony here in Rome. I still can't believe that we're actually here back in Europe. It has been 15 years since we've been in Europe. It seems like yesterday, but it's so good to be back. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy how fast this day has gone. I have so much to catch you up on. Okay, so earlier today we took our transfer from Rome here to the port of Civitavecchia. It took us about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and it was just a really nice mellow drive through the countryside and then suddenly we sort of curved and we were on the coast and then we drove through the little old town, the little old port town of Civitavecchia and we got to the port. Now we got here way too early, so if you are going to be cruising out of this port, I would be careful not to arrive too early because there's really nowhere to sit. So it's better just to arrive on time at the recommended time and check in as needed. Needless to say, we had a really nice warm reception in the yacht club uh, kind of holding area. The, the, the butlers came down and took very good care of us and got us onto the ship as early as possible. They set up some beautiful snacks in the yacht club reception area. There's chocolates and sandwiches and pastries and champagne on ice if you wanted it. We really just wanted to get on the ship, so we skipped all of that 
got onto the ship nice and early and we were escorted by our lovely butler putu up to our room so she kind of gave us the lay of the land showed us our room which is very very spacious mr cruz tips tv did a nice quick tour of the room while junior and i went up and got him registered at the kids club which is a really easy painless process so as usual we just kind of checked all the boxes are there any food allergies we need to be concerned about what are the hours can he check himself in and out by himself and what's to be expected the um, kids clubs here are open pretty much all the time you guys they have a lot of crazy things to do in fact tonight they're having a, a disco at 8 p.m. I'm not sure we're gonna make it to 8 p.m. because we're severely jet-lagged but the parents can go attend the disco it's on deck six so it's in a public area they really get all the parents involved super awesome okay so we did all of that we got everything unpacked in our room which our butler offered to unpack for us but we just really weren't comfortable with that we knew that she had 14 other rooms to attend to and we felt super comfortable doing it ourselves so we freshened up took showers kind of regrouped and now we're going to go have our first meal in the yacht club we're going to have lunch up there when we first got on the ship they greeted us in the yacht club uh, reception area with drinks you could choose from a non-alcoholic drink or an alcoholic beverage i had an alcoholic beverage and the boys had non-alcoholic i had some kind of a delicious spritzer it was refreshing and wonderful all at once and then we sat down and had little snacks in the top sail lounge it kind of met some of the staff there in a really quiet area it's just a good way to kick off the cruise and kind of get into the flow but there's just so much more to do today so we are off to lunch right now to meet the dining staff and then i don't know what we're going to do after that i know we have a mustard drill at 4 45 but everything else right now is kind of a fun mystery
It's 5.30 p.m. and I'm hanging out up here in the pool deck area for the Yacht Club. We've had a wonderful afternoon. We just made it to the mustard drill. Junior fell asleep before the mustard drill. We all kind of nodded off and took a little nap. So we actually carried the poor little guy to the mustard drill, but it was a really quick and painless event. And before that happened, we actually had some wonderful time to explore the ship. The ship is absolutely breathtaking. The gallery of Meraviglia, the area on deck six and seven that has all of the shops shops and restaurants and is lined with an incredible rooftop LED screen. It's just absolutely breathtaking. You've got to check that out. It's just really kind of the hallmark and central point of the ship and I'm sure that it's going to come alive at night. So we had a great time checking that out. We also got to see the flight simulator. We got to see the incredible Jean-Philippe chocolate shop that has sort of these mechanical chocolate things in a display right when you enter and all kinds of beautiful chocolate for sale. They even have an area where you can customize your own chocolate. So we had a blast today roaming the ship. We're obviously a little bit tired because it's day one and we're super jet lagged. <laughs> but we're going to try to get a really good night's sleep tonight because we have a very exciting day planned for tomorrow. So I just enjoyed a mojito in the bar here in the Yacht Club and I'm going to go back to the room, see how the boys are doing and get ready for our first dinner on board. What are you boys up to? Let's go swimming! <laughs> you want to go swimming? Okay! by night is a very special place. We just made friends from Australia and Marseille, France in the hot tub. And now we're actually getting in the pool because it's beautifully heated. So let's check out what Junior's oh up to. Oh my goodness. How does it feel, son? Freezing? It's 8.45 and we've just finished dinner and we're going off to explore the ship. We're pushing it because <laughs> Technically, we should probably be asleep right now. I think we did the math and we've been awake for about, what, 36 hours? Oh, there's our elevator. Let's get on. Good job, son. All right, so we've been awake for about 36 hours, but we are dying to go check out the chocolate shop and the Galleria Meraviglia. chocolate shop and they have a combination of sundaes, gelato, sorbet, crepes, smoothies, stay fit blends like green goddess drinks and green juices and so much more. So we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. First day has come and gone and there were so many things that surprised me today. First, I was really surprised at how big our stateroom 
is. We're gonna do a little room tour, of course, as we always do, but it's a really wide room. There's a lot of space to kind of just be. It feels more like a suite than it does a balcony stateroom. That was definitely a surprise. The number two thing that surprised me today is how many people that we have met from France and Australia. I never would have guessed that I would be brushing up on and practicing my basic, very basic, very basic French on day one. I would have thought I would be speaking Italian in Italy and then maybe a little bit of French in France, but it was it was just everywhere we turned today, we were making friends with French people. It was so cool and such a pleasant surprise. What else surprised me? Another thing that surprised me was how much there is to see on this ship. We went out wandering two or three times, and I don't feel like we've even cracked the surface of what there is to do. And that's outside of the Yacht Club. Of course, the Yacht Club is kind of its own little wonderful world. But boy, between the Galleria Meraviglia with the beautiful dome and the Jean-Philippe chocolate shop and all of the sporting areas and the outdoor decks and the champagne bar and just all of these different places that we explored, I feel like we need to get out a map of the ship and see what else is out there for us. I was also completely marveling at the fact that on the room service menu, there are 12 different types of pizza that you can order to room service. 12, 12 kinds of pizza. I think that is so cool and it's just such a testament to the fact that MSC does Mediterranean cruising so, so well. So tomorrow is a big day, an exciting day for us. We're going to the island of Sicily. We're going to Palermo. It's, gosh, how far is it off the coast here? I think that we have determined that it's just a few kilometers off the coast of Italy. So I don't think that we're gonna be um, we're going to be going that far, but we're there from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock tomorrow, and we're going to give ourselves some space to rest and sleep in. We are doing a food tour tomorrow with a company called Streety. It's a food walking tour, and it doesn't start until 11 o'clock, so hopefully we made a good decision to give ourselves some, some rest on that first day because, as you know, we had a really long travel day, and we're all tuckered out. We haven't slept for quite some time, so I think it's going to be nice just to get into our cozy beds right now and call it a night. Thank you so much for following along. We have seven days of Mediterranean fun. Come along with us to Italy, Spain, France, and Malta. We're going to have a ton of fun. This is going to be a great European adventure. Until tomorrow, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night.